Hi everyone, my name is Rote. I'm one of the creators of Atlas. Today I want to talk to you about how to protect your database from yourself. One of the most important things to know when you're building development processes is that the later in the development process you find an error, the higher the cost of correcting it is. If you find something locally using some testing or, automa or automation, the fix will be very cheap, right? Just fix the bug and carry on. If you deploy the bug and it caused some damage to users and now it needs to be reverted and rewritten, all of the testing and integration work with your other teams in your organization all goes to waste. So we really want to find ways to minimize the costs of errors by testing things easily and quickly early on in the process. Making changes to your database schema is risky business. If you're not careful, you can accidentally drop resources, causing data loss. You can cause backward incompatible changes, breaking your application server in production. And you can cause uh, resource consumption to shoot up if you make a change that's very expensive um, on the database, causing an application to be down as well. In this video, I want to show you Atlas Migrate Lint. It's the Atlas command that uses static code analysis to verify changes you make to your database schema before you make them. Okay, let's show this in action. So let's review our project structure. We have our schema file that contains the desired state of the database. We can see a bunch of migration files that took our database from the original empty state to its current state. And of course we have the Atlas HCL, the project file that uh, defines some defaults so we don't need to type them over and over and over again. So let's start by making some seemingly innocuous change. Let's take the, the bio column in the users table and change it from being null nullable to not null. Okay, so we changed the desired state. Now we need to uh, create a diff, right? We ask uh, Atlas to plan the change for us, right? And we can see this uh, new change right here, right? Alter table users, modify column bio, we're making it not now. Now let's see how we can use Atlas Migrate Lint to verify if this change is safe or not. Now Atlas Migrate Lint uses static code analysis, right? It reads through RSQL, understands the change, constructs the data graph in the uh, desired state and the previous state and runs analysis against it. So let's see what Atlas Migrate Lint thinks about this change. Now we need to supply when we are working locally, the latest flag that tells Atlas to uh, run against the change set, which contains only the newest migration file. Cool, so Atlas found a data dependent change. On line two, modifying a nullable column bio to not nullable might fail in case it contains null values. Now consider our production database might already contain null values in this column because this constraint did not exist until now we want to introduce it. Now, when we are rolling out this change, in case we do have a null uh, value, the deployment will change, breaking the whole uh, deployment change, which is going to cause us a lot of problems. So let's see how we can uh, quickly try to uh, fix this issue. Okay, we're going to take our uh, migration, we're going to edit it. Okay, and before we uh, alter the table, we're going to update users set bio where bio is where bio is now. Okay, take all the records and backfill them with an empty string, which is not null, before we run the uh, statement. Now, I'm going to run lint again. It's going to fail, but not for the reason that you uh, may think. And you can see that Atlas is complaining about a checksum mismatch. Now, if you watched our last video, you know that Atlas contains a checksum file that verifies that nothing was uh, rewritten in history. And in our, case, we, we, in our case, we made a manual change to this file, and now we need to rehash, recalculate the uh, hash of the directory 
so Atlas can make progress. The power of the SUM file is that it's verified in every step of the way, so the directory integrity is maintained. We reran the lint command, and we see that this time Atlas does not complain, and that this change is failed, is safe, it will not, it will not fail in production. In this demo, we showed just one of the automatic checks that Atlas can run for you uh, to verify the safety of your schema changes. But if you go to the uh, Atlas website, you will find a whole list of uh, checks and verifications that Atlas can uh, run for you. Linting is a very powerful technique to make sure you don't plan any changes that are going to cause uh, damage to your database. But where it really becomes powerful is if you use this automatic, automated verification and integrate it into your CI flow, making sure that no one in your team ever merges a change that's going to break the database. In the next video, we're going to review the Atlas GitHub action that lets you do exactly this. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel, give this video a plus one, and see you next time.